A day after unveiling his 401 tunnel vision, Premier Doug Ford says he's been getting props. I, I've been getting overwhelming uh, responses on the phone. The Ford government revealed plans to potentially build the world's largest tunnel under the 401, up to 60 kilometers long to relieve the traffic tension. The government is ordering up a feasibility study to determine the length, but the premier appears determined to build. We just have to do something. You know, the traffic is uh, absolutely horrendous on the 401. But the project is now being met with sober second thoughts from experts in infrastructure. The costs are going to be astronomical and the impact and the benefits are likely not to materialize in terms of resolving congestion. Experts are warning the project will be significant in scope. An east-west tunnel with transit down the middle would require years of construction and closures, multiple on and off ramps, ventilation systems, emergency access, and of course, billions of dollars. The Ontario line is currently being built for 700 million per kilometer, meaning a tunnel of the 401 size could easily cost $40 billion or more. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. Uh, I'm not a transportation expert. Uh, I'll leave it for the expert to make a decision. But the Premier insists he's overcome construction challenges before. They kept saying the downtown relief line for 30 years they talked about it. We finally are getting it done. They've talked a lot, of, a lot about a lot of things. We're finally getting things done here. Still, the Premier is being cautioned to slow down. Ultimately, the Premier should not be making a decision about a project of this scope without the feasibility study. It should be released to taxpayers so we can all see it. To allow taxpayers to take stock of how Queen's Park is about to spend your money. Now, multiple sources tell Global News that this was a tightly held secret, so much so that the majority of members in the Ford government didn't know it was happening. This plan was never presented to the Progressive Conservative Caucus, nor was it given to cabinet members in advance. The first many of them heard about it was when the Premier made the announcement yesterday morning alongside the 401. Of course, there's a lot of questions about whether the government is preparing for an early election and whether this is part of that in 2025. We asked the Premier yesterday, he said, he has yet to make up his mind about an early vote. Reporting live alongside the 401, I'm Colin DeMello. Back to you. All right, thank you, Colin. Appreciate that report.